Hello guys, today we are going to be talking about an electronic speed controller popularly known as an ESC using the CH32V203 and AM32 configuration. Now, ESCs they are often used on drones, vehicles or anything that needs uh, motors, in this case in particular uh, three phase brushless motors. So we use them to change the speed and to control the rate of change of speed and there are many open source firmware solutions but for this one in particular we chose AM32 so now let's begin our first RISC-5 ESC controller based on AM32 firmware now the MCU we used is the CH32V203 uh, the CAT6 model so one of the nice things is uh, it has uh, just the right amount of peripherals uh, with four UART, two I2C and two SPI. And also uh, they, it can be a USB host and device. And for the package we chose QFN20. Uh, it's small and uh, cheap and also it fits uh, perfectly into our small board. Okay, now the basic flow is we're going to be using a timer to output three sets of complementary PWM. This will be used to drive the MOSFET, which in turn will be used to uh, accelerate and deaccelerate the motor, and then giving us our ESC control. Okay, now to prepare our ESC, the first thing we need is something for the output. And to do this, we use the servo test tool. Uh, so uh, we're going to be using this servo test tool to generate an input signal to the MCU, which will tell the MCU how much throttle it should uh, produce to the motor. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flash the bootloader. And uh, well, this is this involves uh, connecting the WCH link and the ESC controller, and then we use Mount River Studio, the official WCH IDE, to download directly to our board. After downloading the bootloader, we can now use the configuration tool to update the program. Now, flashing the firmware, we're going to be using this uh, software, our um, ESC config tool. And uh, we're going to, first of all, connect to the ESC. Once we have connected, uh, then the options and settings will pop up and appear, and we can adjust and change them accordingly. Uh, at this point, we have flashed the bootloader successfully. Okay, so in this, uh, I'm going to change the mode by holding this button. And then when it clicks, uh, it means that the level has been changed. And now when I increase, you can see from the oscilloscope that the mode has changed. And the same procedure again, you hold the button, the power button, and you hear the sound that the protocol has changed. And then you switch to another protocol. And uh, this uh, is a rotational change. So we go from PWM to DS300, and then from DS300 to DS600, and back to uh, PWM. Okay, as we can see here, this is the motor we will be turning, and then this is how we will control. So this is the input. And our ESC and MOSFETs and other devices are connected here. And we will power up our motor uh, using the circuit. And then I've connected this to an oscilloscope so that we can be able to analyze the final signals. Uh, as you can see, as I adjust the motor for the input, the current also changes and the signal changes. 
and uh, that's how we continue to work and adjust it hello guys uh, so as you can see here this is our PWM signal that we are generating for our ESC and you can see that the frequency is uh, 50 Hertz that's because PWM has some of the lowest uh, available frequencies so uh, when we scroll out a bit we can see that the frequency here is 60 hertz for 50 hertz for pwm so now i'm going to switch uh, on my esc motor and change to d short uh, 300 now uh, as you can see uh, if i zoom in a little you can now see that the frequency has changed to 300 kilohertz which is about uh, 300,000 bits of data being sent per second. So with that in mind, uh, you can see that one of the advantage of uh, D short 300 is that with the much faster uh, and higher transmission rate, it makes our motor more sensitive to inputs as it requires less time for a response and a feedback to be given. Now, uh, if you check, I've just zoomed in a little bit more, and now uh, that's because we changed now to D short 600. As you can see, the frequency at the bottom now says 600 uh, kilohertz, and uh, this is an improvement of D short 300, and it also allows for even finer control. Uh, but you might have to sacrifice a little more power usage. So those are the current three operational modes for our ESC controller. Uh, we have PWM, which is the base model, and the one with the lowest uh, frequency. And then we have D-Short 300 and D-Short 600. So this allows, uh, D-Short 600 allows for a lot more control, but it comes at a power or energy penalty and d -Show 300 uh, is better than PWM but might not be as uh, fine-tuned as d -Show 600. Okay, as we can see here, this is the PWM signal. Um, and now we're going to change to d -Show 300. Um, as you can see, the frequency is much higher on the d -Show 300. Uh, and I'm just going to zoom in a little and I'm going to show you uh, some more specifics yes so as if we can look here this is the signal for D short 300 uh, upon using the measure function we should be able to find the frequency of this signal so it should be around uh, 300 kilohertz because DS short 300 sends data at 300,000 bits per second. Yeah, okay, as you can see, the frequency, oh, this one is DS 600. Yeah, so as you can see, the frequency for DS 600. And uh, when once we go back to PWM, then we hit a frequency of about 50 hertz. So PWM is the slowest uh, in terms of responsiveness. But uh, we can change again. And uh, this time I'm changing to D short 300. So Yes, as you can see, once uh, the sample has been acquired, uh, we are we're having 300 kilohertz. So this is D short 300. And then uh, if we were to change it again, then we would go to 600. As you can see, uh, it has almost uh, doubled. Uh, and uh, on the oscilloscope again, we are now in uh, 600 kilohertz frequency okay that's it for this video thank you so much if you have any questions about using uh, if you have any questions at all 
about using WCA chips and making uh, this ESC controller or if you have uh, a specification that you want because currently our ESC controller supports D-Shot 300, D-Shot 600 and PWM. So if you have any custom requests, please uh, notify us in the comment section below. We'll be more than happy to reply to you. Or you can contact us directly uh, on Twitter. You can visit Patrick or our web or our Twitter account WCH Tech. That's all for today.